There we go, everybody. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to go south or north, but there are the royal family, those little spots in front of the vehicle. Little spots with their own spots. And all three of them were here. Karula's on the left, Shongile on the, sorry, on the right, Shongile in the middle, and here comes little Hosanna from the left. Oh, look. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Just wonderful. And now, this is great because they're in the open so we can see the different sizes. And just quickly, if you are a new viewer, these are the kind of stars of our show, really. On the right-hand side, Karula the Queen coming up on her 13th birthday next month. That's her there. In front, the very elegant Shongile. Reminds me quite a lot of Jamie, really. And then to the left of that, we've got Hosanna who's a very stocky little fellow for his age. He's not tall, or he's, I mean, he's not short, but he's very stocky. And they have just passed their first birthday. Let's see if we can't get around the front of them. I think they're probably going back to the carcass, and I suspect they were probably having a drink somewhere around here, perhaps even a treehouse dam. They're becoming more and more independent as the days go by, and of course eventually they are going to decide to leave us, unfortunately. But that is the way of things with the leopard. Now this isn't going to be the best view of them, but they're going to walk straight past the front of the car eventually. There they are there. And I don't want to go any further forward, it will block the view from the other guests. There we go. Is that not fun to have our little royal family with us today? Marvelous stuff. Karula cleaning her recalcitrant little boy, and <laughs> now Shongile is sitting off to the side and waiting patiently for her brother and sister brother and mother, sorry, to get up and move. <laughs> there she is. She's just looking up into that vehicle. I know this isn't the best view, everyone, but they are on... I mean, I suppose I could go down onto the road, but here comes little Shongile, so let's wait for her. I think she's getting a little irritated with mum and brother. She's so sweet. <laughs> um, a wonderful question. Well, I'm not, the, I mean, the question's good, but the, the name is better. Sofa Tato. Sofa Tato, you want to know how many males Karula the Queen has mated with Sofa Tato? You'd be shocked if I told you. Sofa Tato, we don't know at this stage. Um, I think at least five. There's definitely been Tingana. Um, maybe it's not quite as many as five. There's definitely been Mvula. Um, the father of the litter before quarantine in Gornuma was a chap called... what was he called? He's from the far north, the Jordan's male, I think. And there will probably been, have been one or two others. So at least three that I know of, which means that there are definitely more than that. All right, we're going to move a little bit, because it's obviously not the best view in the world here. So let's just reverse slowly back. So, so for Tato, that's normally the case that a female will mate with different males, but that's because, of course, the dominance hierarchy amongst the males changes more frequently than it does with the females. And so, oh, this is beautiful, look at that. There they go, all three of them. 
and so it means that every time she comes into estrus or quite often uh, a new dominant male will be or a new male will be the dominant when she comes into estrus each time and then sometimes they will mate with multiple males during one estrus period this is wonderful Saraya, you say, how will Hosanna react when mum is not feeding him? Saraya, he's already kind of half feeding himself. The process of independence amongst these leopards is very much, um, please excuse the power lines coming up here. It's, it's a subtle process. It doesn't take place quickly. And what it means, that means is that when they do go independent, they've already made many kills on their own. And, uh, you know, so a little bit like we've had, a little bit like we've had times, jeepers, that game drive radio is deeply loud. Um, what happens is they spend more and more time independently. Oh, hello, boy. <laughs> There's brother and sister here. I, I, so they spend more and more time on their own, um, hunting and doing bits and pieces while their mum goes hunting looking for them. And eventually they just don't come back. Eventually mum doesn't look for them anymore. And by then they're so used to being on their own that it doesn't actually make a difference to them.